Hey everyone, it's Tremia, and I have the same cold and crud that everybody else has around the world. It seems like everybody's getting it. I got it from my brother. It's his fault. <laughs> um, but it's been... I've been going through a lot. I guess I never did really explain. I said that I'd hurt my foot, but I never did explain what happened to my foot. Um, when we were moving all of our stuff around in our house for them to come paint, um, I remember I was talking to my mom on the phone, and I dropped something heavy on my foot. Can't remember what it was. I just know I was talking to her, and I said, I said, ouch, I think I just broke my foot. You know, and as I, and anyway, it really, it, from what they could tell that there wasn't any break, but I um, had a severe contusion, no, yeah, whatever, a really deep bruise, and all my tendons were swollen, and lend, ligaments, and all that kind of stuff, and I had to wear one of those walking boots, which I'm no, I'm not wearing right now, I quit wearing it, so it's, it's, it's healing, it's still black and blue. But, but, you know, with prednisone and all that, my bruises hang around longer. So, that was the foot. And then, what else did I do? Then, oh, I, uh, my um, port, um, it started hurting. And I don't didn't like that. And they took x-rays of it and everything. But it felt like a needle sticking me from the inside out. Like it. It, it, have, it started like three days after my last rituxan infusion, and I accidentally, it was tender, and I touched it, and it just felt like I stuck a needle in me, but from inside out, and um, I called the doctor, and they said they thought it was probably a hematoma, uh, and that, you know, not to touch it, to leave it alone, and we'll just, if it started to get angry looking or red, you know, if I stopped, thought it started was thought it was getting infected to call them back but I made it to my IVIG appointment and it didn't get any worse but it didn't get any better and the nurse she could feel it too she could feel that there was something there now on the power power ports they have three little nubs that go around the corners so the nurses can feel those nubs and then get the needles stuck in the center and it wasn't a nub it's definitely something else and it's, you can tell it's sharp. <laughs> and so they took me down to x-ray, but, and by then I was hurting up underneath my ribs also, but it wasn't like pleuritic pain. And it was more like a rib. And, but then I started worrying because as high up as it was, I thought maybe it was connected to my port, but my, the, after the x-ray, my port, it had not flipped or anything. Everything was okay with that. Um, my rib was okay, and everything was okay with that. You know, just a hematoma. They said um, probably somehow some of the heparin had leaked out and, you know, caused the hematoma. And it just takes, week, you know, it can take up to weeks for it to heal. So I'm in the process of healing from a hematoma. And then, then I got this cold and, or whatever. Now, cause now it's, it's in my chest, in my throat, my sinuses, you know, and all that. My eyes, the watering has not gotten any better. Um, my, my rheumatologist, she said, let's try the restasis again. And I tried the restasis and it didn't help. If anything, my eyes just kind of got worse. I don't think necessarily from the restasis. I think just from the Sjogren's or whatever. So I'm just, you know, having a good old time. Um, my intestinal vasculitis, it is doing better. Um, I'm eating and all that kind of good stuff. And uh, I'll have a spasm every once in a while, but I can take the medicine, just a Levson, which is an antispasmodic for your stomach. And, you know, I can take that pill and it helps me. Um, it's just not constant and I might only have to take that pill like once, twice, three times the most a week. So I'm doing good, really good there, I'm getting that under control, which is good because I start the Benlisto on January 3rd, 
and we want all of this still to be under control and not going crazy because the Benlista is not as strong as drug as the Rituxan and even though it's the same type of drug it's not as strong and um, so I want, want it to be you know under good control and not out of control and any more suffering. <laughs> um, then, so I start that on January 3rd, and of course you do the first three uh, infusions two weeks apart, and then it's a monthly thing. And I'll continue my IVIG, my immunoglobulins still ha have not come up. They're still not there. I can't say they're not there. It's like my count's supposed to be like 500, and my the minimum count might be 546, and my count might be 28. So they might as well, you know, not be there. But it's just whenever my body decides to start making them, it'll start making them. The IV doesn't, IVIG doesn't encourage it in any way. It's just there to protect me. So I'm waiting for my body to do that. But I think as long as I'm being immunosuppressed, it's just going to make that process you know, longer and longer until, you know, the IVIG can, I can stop the IVIG. But the IVIG has definitely, you know, it saved my life because from getting severe, you know, the severe infections or the super infections. And, you know, otherwise I really don't think I would be here at this point. And let's see, we're working on our house. We, the house is fully painted and it's beautiful. Um, then we went to get our tiling done, um, everything where, where there were ceramic tiles in the home. We were getting those replaced with more beautiful, up-to-date, you know, of this day looking tile. And the guys did a horrible job. And we intentionally got tile because, you know, I can't walk good. My balance is off. And the ceramic tile is smooth. And we wanted, we got the smallest grout, um, one-eighth inch, and to match the tile and everything. And it just looks like a lumpy, bumpy mess. They did not do a good job. And another contractor is going to have to come in and redo it. And um, it's not going to be any money out of our pocket, whatever. He, he's going to come in and do that. He's fix it. He's ordered the tiles. I think they had to get four or five more boxes. And he's going to replace them and get the grout in. Because there's places where there's not even any grout. And get it all leveled out. So when I, I'm walking and my feet are dragging that I don't stub my toe and fall down and break a hip or something. So uh, I think our tile is supposed to be in today and so they might be start doing that as early as tomorrow which will be good because we can't put back together our house and Christmas is next week but you know we we're just planning on being home you know have a nice quiet Christmas we weren't having family over or anything like that or friends so it's <clears throat> Yeah, I just want to see all my stuff put together and nice and be able to make the video and show you guys. So that will be coming up. And also for 2013, I have made, you know, this year has been hard on me physically. And and I haven't been able to keep up with my channel the way that I wanted to. But in 2013, I'm going to do my darndest. And I want to try to at least get out three videos a week. And, you know, it'll be, and get back to the educating on lupus. Um, like one will be, the first series I'm going to do is do like on the different medications of lupus. And then also I'm going to do my Q&As and then go back to um, my Much About Nothing videos. Do one of those maybe a week or every other week and a day in the life video. Um, but I'm going to, I'm I've got it scheduled where I'm going to do three a week, and I'm going to try to do my darn just to answer all of my comments because I feel like I have lost contact with everybody and, you know, just don't have that closeness that I want, and I want that back, so I need to work on that. So I'm going to have to go. I'm losing my – it's hurting. And But I will see you guys in the next video, and happy holidays.